welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna take you through the day in the life of being a UX designer. I'll show you what I get up to, what I'm working on, and kind of give you a sneak peek into what it's actually like being a designer. So let's get into it. Yeah, I see the updated sync. Right. Yeah, there's probably a few more things that we need to do with the sync setting. Um, before we're ready for the design. Yeah. Yeah, we're just getting research kicked off here um, next in the next two days. We'll get research kicked off there, um, look through some pendo feedback, and then from there, I'll start to kind of tabulate the current questions that we have, and then start working on maybe like a really low fidelity just to kind of get a sense of the screens and what we need to be at. Yeah. So I just got off a call with developers and my product manager. We are going over sync run, sync statuses, and that there's like a sync button missing on one of the dashboard views. So I'm gonna have to go in and just create that button really quick. I'll be referencing our current like design pattern. So I'm not, you know, creating something from scratch, but the rest of the call didn't really pertain to me. It was just more me listening in and trying to understand like the developers issues. Um, a lot of my calls are actually with developers and with my product manager, so not completely with design. So it's important to, you know, take good notes, listen to what they're saying, just so you can understand what they're doing as well. Okay. I think it might be time for a little food. I'm getting hungry. Okay. The next thing I'm working on today is a customer journey map. And so what that means is I'm talking to some internal users, so people in the company, and they are currently using a dashboard. And what I'm tasked to do is to understand their flow, so the journey that they take to complete what they need to do. And so I'm gonna highlight touch points, tasks, insights, and pain points. This is the skeleton of my customer journey map. And so what this means is that it's a customer or slash user in this case map. So I'm gonna document the current flow of how they are completing said scenario. And so I'm gonna go through the touch points. And so those are like the physical actions that the user is taking, the task associated with the action, insights or anything that um, you kind of gleaned from it, any kind of additional information that informs the rest of the task and then pain points. So pain points are obviously any problem areas. So we're going to cover that as well. And then evidence, I'll probably put in like um, a screenshot or a screen grab, but just to kind of bring in some visuals because it, it is going to be a lot of sticky notes. So, um, so I'm going to fill in the scenario is going to be implementation, which is a team that we have here is going to is setting up a new account. Okay, and so their first touch point is going to be to open the dashboard. Okay, and that seems very um, obvious, but you kind of want to document every single step because there's going to be some areas that you're going to get some insights, problems from, so you want to make sure you capture it all. Okay, so then I'm going to go in with my sticky note. Then I'm going to change it to the right shade of blue that medium and so when they are opening the dashboard a task that they're going to do is create a new form and fill in they're going to fill in the phone email address let's say okay next thing is going to be the insights and so an insight from that is all of this information comes from a verbal slash written sales team handover. Okay, so something that just kind of helps inform what we're doing here and maybe some of the reasons to why there might be issues. And then a pain point associated with that is going to be there is a lot of room for error. And something else I can even throw in here is that like errors 
lead to costly mistakes is another pain point. Okay, and then evidence would be a screen grab that I would take from here, um, that I put in here, I mean, just to kind of inform the rest of it. And so I'm gonna go through and fill out the rest of this map just to kind of understand the customer flow. And yeah, I'm gonna work on that for a bit and I will come back. Hi guys, back again. Another great thing about working in tech is that I get to work from home. Um, and when I'm working from home, I have breaks. And so during these breaks, I can go and do things like pick up my groceries. So flexibility. for the day. I finished my journey map. Um, I'll show you guys here in a second, kind of high level of what it looks like. I won't zoom in because I don't want you to see everything. Um, but I finished my journey map and then tomorrow I'm presenting it to our implementation team just to kind of get their feedback to make sure that I covered all of the bases, that I'm not missing any pain points, just to kind of really present it back to them to make sure we're not missing anything. So let me show you real quick. Okay guys, this is my finished map. And I'm not going to zoom in because I don't want you guys to see all the details, but just to kind of give you an overview, I just filled in all of the touch points, associated tasks. Not everything has an insight or a pain point, but just wanted to include as much as I could. Um, the purple and the kind of darker gray stickies are just some additional questions that I had that I'm going to ask the team tomorrow. And then here off to the side are some additional insights that didn't necessarily map out with the rest of this but i still wanted to keep them jotted down so this is the finished product also wanted to mention um i don't know if i touched on this before but this is fig jam which is a companion whiteboarding tool to figma um so it's really interactive which is nice um it's very easy to play around with do like section call outs you've got your stickies um you know you can even draw it's definitely my favorite whiteboarding tool. So highly, highly recommend Fig Jam. Like I don't even know how you can even do tape like that. That's cool. See, I'm learning with you guys. That's awesome. Um, yeah, definitely love Fig Jam for this kind of mapping. Great for taking notes, just to kind of have everything on one space. So highly recommend. The last thing that I'm doing today is I'm watching our monthly business review. And so that happens on either the second or last week of the month on a Friday. I missed it live, so now I'm just watching back the recording and it just goes over any kind of high level stuff about the company. So like our OKRs, fun things like work anniversaries, our market position. It's kind of just a fun thing to listen in and get a sense of how the company is doing as a whole. It's about a 400 person company, so. Really, Paul? Come here, come here, you want food? You want food? It's now a 400 person company, so it's really exciting, lots of new growth. So it's nice that they kind of keep you abreast of everything that's going on. So I'm gonna just watch that. It's about 30, 45 minutes, and then I'll be done with my day. Okay, that's it guys. That is my day. I hope you enjoyed getting a sneak peek into what it looks like to actually be a UX designer. Um, I loved making this video, so I'm going to plan on doing lots more of these day in the lives. So I wish you all the best and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.